Do you want to know what pre-implantation genetic testing is and what it screens for? Do you wonder about the benefits, how it works, and if it's the right treatment for your embryos? Welcome to Fertile Minds. I'm Dr. Marcella Martin, a gynaecologist, general obstetrician, and fertility specialist with over 15 years experience in helping women and couples achieve their goal of having a family. So what is PGT? It stands for pre-implantation genetic testing and refers to the genetic testing of an embryo before we transfer it back into a woman's uterus. And this can follow an IVF or an ICSI cycle. But what does, it, what does it actually involve? Well, PGT involves pre-implantation genetic testing, requires a sophisticated technique where we test the embryos for a single genetic condition or a chromosomal variation. This enables us to pick the healthiest embryo to return back into your body to maximise your chances of a successful, healthy pregnancy. In pre-implantation genetic testing, the woman goes through a standard IVF cycle while the embryos are developing in the laboratory though, we manage to get them to day five status called a blastocyst. At that point, we take some DNA out to test for single gene disorders, such as Huntington's disease, cystic fibrosis, Duchenne muscular dystrophy, and a wide range of conditions that are available. So how does PGT work? Well, it is an optional treatment that involves some intense laboratory work. You and your partner may be required to provide DNA samples before the whole process begins. And sometimes that includes extended members of your family as well. We involve a genetics team so that we can make sure all the correct testing is done before we start your IVF cycle. Once we start your IVF cycle, we use a laser technique on your embryos when they're day five old, and we remove some of the DNA material from the embryo at that stage, which gets sent off for testing. While that's happening, we rest your embryos and we freeze them, because it often takes us a good 10 days to get the answers for genetic testing of that embryo. At that point, you and your specialist will meet up and go through all the results together and we move forward with trying to get that pregnancy. So what is a chromosomal variation? Well, our genetic material, or DNA, is tightly coiled into structures called chromosomes. Every cell in your body and in your embryos should have 46 chromosomes, or 23 pairs. And sometimes we can have an imbalance of those numbers and therefore, the most common example we know about is when there's three lots of chromosome 21s, which can lead to Down syndrome. So chromosome variations or aneuploidies can affect up to 70% of early human embryos, either via natural conception or IVF. And it's probably the most common reason why an embryo won't take or you end up having a miscarriage, whether it's a natural or IVF conceived pregnancy. So who is suitable for PGT? Well, you, may need, you might decide to consider that as an option if you have some of the following concerns. Either, either you yourself or your partner are carriers of a single gene mutation that you want to avoid passing on to the next generation, or that you have a chromosomal rearrangement. We call those translocations, and that means a small section of your chromosome is in the wrong order, not the whole chromosome. Or you might uh, simply be of a certain age group. Say, for example, you might be in your early 40s and therefore you know you have a high risk of carrying mistakes in those embryos. Another interesting reason to consider this is if you've been through cycle after cycle and had at least five good quality embryos transferred back, which haven't led to a successful pregnancy. So there are lots of different reasons why people might consider doing PGT testing. And it's an option that you should sit and discuss with your fertility specialists. Certainly with such an area of medicine, the improvements even 12 months jump from one extreme to another. So if you've been on an IVF journey for a while, it might be something that's suitable now, but perhaps wasn't when you first started that journey. So raise it with your specialist. Uh, we'd be more than happy to discuss if it's the right 
thing for you. Uh, we do know that PGT tested embryos tend to have a better chance for a healthier development uh, when we do transfer them, but it doesn't guarantee you uh, a pregnancy. You might have a, a fully tested and um, ticked off embryo, so to speak, but it may not, still doesn't guarantee you that wonderful pregnancy that you're after. So please, these things do need to be considered carefully with your specialist. Every technology that we use has a, a cost to the embryo as well. So it needs to be weighed up carefully. Otherwise we would do it on everybody, but clearly that's not the right thing. Or if you know or suspect you have a serious genetic or chromosomal variation, or simply want to test for peace of mind, book an appointment with a fertility specialist. We're always happy to help. There are more videos speaking on all things fertility, so make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you have a question on anything I've spoken about in this video, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and take care.